greetings one and all and today my review is for only ultimate volume 2 gods and masters i think is the name oh no gods no masters there you go volume 2 all new ultimates so here's the front this is collecting issues 7 to 12 of all new ultimates this is <clears throat> one of the last standalone books for all the ultimate for the ultimate universe excuse me this will be yet yeah, this we yeah, one of the last is remaining miles morales the ultimate spider-man and ultimate end which ends the entire ultimate universe including secret wars <clears throat> so here's my review oh this is my review for it this is the front uh, here Art, um, written by is it Michelle Fife? Don't know all the other names. All I remember, all I know is America Pin Pinna and Terry Pallet. Or oh, forgive me for mispronouncing everything. But this was a fun read. But I will mention that it will make absolutely no sense unless you read only Ultimate Volume One. Yeah, because they're all it's all connected. It takes place right after Oni Ultimate Volume One. So yeah, it's really good. Um, the artwork is still the same. I'll show you some of it. Um, yeah, it's some of the artwork is a bit hit and miss, but the the style is still the same. Um, like I said, bit miss. I don't like the artwork here, but but further down okay like here okay the artwork is good here it's quite entertaining it's very, is is way better than i thought it would be or well, we get to see it i mean basically it, it's carry on like i said it's carry on pra carrying on from all new ultimates so a bounty has been put on the all new ultimates many people are trying to collect um, the Serpent Skulls are trying to collect. Um, a group called the Femme Patels are trying to collect as well. And also Taskmaster is back, which is a lot of fun. It's always good to see ultimate, the Ultimate Universe version of Taskmaster. Um, yeah, it was fun. It was fun. The, the second half of the book is absolutely brilliant. It follows Bombshell. And her inner monologue, and this is absolutely brilliant. The way she sees things from being the bad guy, trying to transition into being the good guy and all the stuff like that. And there's a moment she has with Diamondback and Taskmaster, which is absolutely hysterical. Um, yeah, it's really good. It's very, it, they kind of, it, this, is the, this is the story that makes them bond as a team. However, it kind of... The way it ends kind of makes me feel like oh the team has disbanded and all the things like that, which is unfortunate. It really pisses me off that Ultimate Universe is coming to an end. This book was a lot of fun. Um, I would recommend it, but you have to be reading Ultimate Comics. So, um, in fact, eventually I'll do my recommended Ultimate Comic books to read. Um, but yeah, it's a really fun book. I'd highly recommend it. It's, the, like I said, the artwork is a bit hit and miss. Um, and yeah, also there's a nice... I, I love the relationship between every single character in this in this, in this this comic. Um, especially Kitty Pride and Jessica Drew. Um, uh, Kitty Pride is um, yeah, Shadow Cat from X-Men. Jessica Drew used to be Spider-Woman. Now she's Black Widow in this reality. So... Um, Spider Woman has a crush on Kit Shadow Cat, which is hysterical, and it's nicely is nicely mapped out and everything like that. Guys, it's a good book. Um, it will not make sense unless you read Volume One, <laughs> but I would yeah, which I suggest you read all in one go. It's just one continuous story. So yeah, highly recommended. A lot of fun. Good read. Good read. The artwork is a bit hit and miss, but. You can forgive it since the story is quite decent as well. Um, what's it called? Terra Inc. Was, is, it was really cool to see Terra Inc. Terra Inc. are basically the kind of team that 
handle shit that is way too extreme for the Avengers, you know, so you're wondering how how extreme things can get yeah but yeah terra inc was really fun to check out in the ultimate universe so guys that's my review for all new ultimate volume 2 no gods um, no mon no masters so thank you for watching and i'll catch you next time